Hello there. So in this video, we're going to create a perfect portrait based on previous photo. And right here, you can see we have our photo, what we're going to use. But before we jump to adjust sizes, let's see what we're going to use it first as a model. And this is RPG verse 4. And if we look on the specification, the best size the resolution and a CFG was trained for this specific model. It was 512, the width and 768. So what I want to do, I want right here going and put those numbers because this is given us the best result that we can have it when we work with this model. So we'll have it 512 and our width is 768. So 768. We also can preview and you can see 768 just cut on the sizes around this area. Because of that, we want to switch to the crop and resize because we want to cut some of those areas on the sides. Also depend on the CFG scale and other things and based on the size as well the noise. We'll maybe going the noise try to go as high as possible. This is meaning it's our CFG scale or actually our sampling step based on this should be some way about 35 and CFG scale we can get up to nine. I don't recommend go higher. Most models is trained anywhere between five to nine. So it's most safe areas. I will say seven and between seven and nine, it, uh, and nine it's a uh, will work hundred percent on almost all models. Okay. Now we're going ahead and fill up all our information and let's go ahead and click generate. And as we look it kind of pause, same way looking, but not all away. So what's happening if I want to say let's go the noise one percent? It's all created noise, and we'll click generate. Most likely I can see what will happen ahead. It's total different, so it does not resemble our image at all what we created. So what we're going what we're going to do? It is play with some settings to be sure we resemble as close as possible with this, but increase creativity to the max. Okay, first we're going to use it control net and we're going to use it two control net models at that time. If you need it, you can go inside the settings, go to the control net and right here where is the how many models you want to set at least three for now. Usually most people use a two, two is enough. I like three because give me sometimes a little bit more options. It's up to you, but set at least two, at least for this video, set at least two of them. When you're done, click apply and reload. So after you need to reload again, and this time you should have it at least two times for control model. The one first, what we're we going to do, it is set properly pause. And let's see what's happening with the pauses. Okay, first I'll show you some example. Right here, for example, we have it pause. And if we're going to select, let's enable preprocessor. Let's go with the open pause, it's what we want to do. And we'll just go ahead and click on preview result. You'll notice how the hands are going right here. And it's main reason because this is not correct size. It's why very important for us to use the annotation resolution equal to our image. So for example, if I have it an annotation resolution 720, let's try preview again. And this time you can see right here, you see how the arms showing correctly. This is just one of the better examples to showing this annotation resolution should closer going to the image you're going to use. Okay, so in our case, we're using this image and I'm looking for 512 within this case. So it's what we're going to do, 512. And let's go click preview on the annotation resolution. Be sure that our pause is all readable. And this is actually set very good. I like how it's going on this case. We can remove from this point and we'll just leave it like this. Let's go to Kenny set up op open pause because we do open pause, open pause right here. This is our preprocessor. This is our processor. So if at this time we go ahead and click generate, you'll notice we'll have it a model set with properly pause. However, we do lose some of the detailizations from outfit that you maybe want to pass some parameters. It still look very nice and a pose is close enough. However, we can do even better than that. For this, we'll go to another control model and we were going to use the canning for this. So let's go enable. We'll go 
copy paste our image so we can preview and remember same like we did before it was 510 this is what we want to do here put it 510 however 512 probably will work we'll just leave it as up on our canvas sorry on a guidance right here let's go there should pop up our guidance right there and we'll just leave it 512 here on a resolution as well and we'll go and click to preview so overall right here what i'm looking at this line how much details if not enough details you can always go ahead and reduce like low resolution see how much more details we added if you need it but i think we'll pop up same we can you can use it with a higher details and higher should add more and even include my own signature that i put it on my photos but it is maybe a little bit too much so we'll just bring back let's preview again and again this one is actually very good resolution in this case so let's go ahead and remove our preview and we'll go canning scanning canny here the next thing is because we're using two models we want a little bit adjust on the weight so this one will go weight about 0 0.7 and on accounting for the details we'll maybe go 0 0.5 okay let's go ahead generate and look again and here we have it even better detailizations now but here's the other things very interesting so what is happening it's taken noise it's created noise and put it over but if we take the noise of this image it will take image convert to the noise and based from this noise we can get it very very close to original so for this what we're going to do it's using script and we're going to use the script image to image alternative test so let's enable this test also notice i'm using euler and some uh, rpg i think it's required to use it our two karmas however if we're going to use it image to image it is actually asked to use the euler because we set euler on the top and here we'll just uncheck this uncheck that box sampling step we uncheck because we're going to use it our 35 we can switch if we need it you can also use it for coded decoded same amount of steps we need matching and if you want you can always check this box then it will be matched with your sampling steps on top actually the bottom will override top one okay and right here we override noise to the one let's uncheck this because we already control it by one here and let's go ahead try to generate when we will do this you'll notice it will take first our image add noise to this image so it's going to the base by using on our Euler um, noise denoising system and now denoising back from this to our original image so you'll notice how the face positions everything will be extremely close to what we have it before to even point of the hair how we're going and this is what nice about creating if you have it exactly the same point you like hair like all these details you can take and create image very very close to your original image and one thing you can also verify if you click second time generate we should have it very close and similar to what we have it just with the little little details adjustments so we can take our image and almost constrain to the point and by the way these techniques what are using here and how it is with the, our noise generation overlay okay so at this point it's look very nice but if you notice the faces is different what if i take somebody else's portraits i'll apply everything same but i want preserve the expression and face and everything so for this we actually need to go use it in painting and i do like to do this in steps so it's helped me to identify one thing fix it and keep on going so when i satisfy how everything going i can go inside in painting copy paste what i have it and now i'm going just mask over the face that i want to preserve okay when i done right here i want to go and says in painting not mask so it's in painting everything except what masking and you can try fill or a latent noise either one and pixel padding 
I will save 100 pixel. Sometimes go a little bit too low. You can again, this is experimental, depend on the size of the image you created and other stuff. But everything else, you notice right here, it will stay same. So when we're done, let's go ahead and click generate. Notice us generating our face, apply the noise, but not that much. So at least preserve some of the digitalizations as we're doing. And when it's creating back, you'll notice we have our model created. And most important, we preserve face for our model. Okay, so let's go compare. Here's a before you can see face, and it's the same one embedded very well. And this is because we used within painting just replace the specific elements that we think. You can also play a little bit around with the blur because if we apply a little bit more blur, like maybe 10 pixels, it will bend a little bit right here around more aggressively. This is again, this is more experimental based on the size and resolution. You can always go a little bit more crazy and higher quality, um, bigger edge on this. And let's just preview, see, and I'll show you what is meaning by when we're going closer to these edges. Okay, and you can see we have it a little bit better blending, but right there, because it's a, we have it blur, you may have it some artifacts a little bit, but general, it's actually blending very well. So we have it same face, same pose, but we change all environment quite a bit on this one. And here we can compare our original photo that we put it in and we change all environment, outfit, but we still have it same shape of the figure, same pose, same face, um, as there, it just almost like special compositing we did it in much easy creative way. Of course, everything can be changed depend on your prompt, but in this case, you should experiment. Overall, what we've done, we used image to image, we adjust the denoising string, we use two control models, one is the open pose, and another one is a caring for more details, and we're also using the script image to image alternative test to take our original image and based on this. All of this provide very accurate, but at the same time, very creative reference for our new image. You can actually create very interesting animations even based with that. And you can create these animations by going in a batch and at this point processing as an image badge and creating um, set of this. So let me show you some examples. Okay, so and right here, you can see the render, and you can see the original one. Notice that we have a, some flickering applied and it's, it is problem with the specific techniques. If you're interested on a flickery free uh, creating, I have it another video with totally flicker free creating with AI stable diffusion. And I'll post a link to this video below. But here's approximately you can do kind of fun stuff with this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, share this video, help um, this channel grow and I appreciate all your support. Thanks. Have a great